Hi, everybody, and welcome again to another Bible Creative Interview. I'm so excited to have Dara here with us, and she is going to be real, fo really focusing on teens, so I'm so excited about her. So I'm, gonna, I'm jumping ahead of myself, though. <laughs> so Dara, tell us who you are. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Dara Halladier. I am a transplanted Texan. I'm living in Kansas right now. Um, I am first and foremost a daughter of the King of Kings, and it is his love, his unconditional love that makes any of this worthwhile. Um, I've been married to my husband for 38 years. I'm the mom of five boys. We homeschooled from kindergarten through college. We've got a college professor, a pilot, a uh, software, hardware, you name it. They, they're doing it. <laughs> they're amazing. Um, four wonderful daughter-in-laws. And I am just found out yesterday that number 13 grandchild is on its way. Congratulations. So, ten and under, it's all of them are age 10 and under. So it, it's been a boom. <laughs> oh, how fun. So, how I'm fun. also the executive director of Abiding Truth Ministry which started as our need with our boys, our teenagers. They had um, come into that 15, 16. We were living in a state that required a life management course. And the only one on the Christian market was not something I wanted to teach my children. And so I asked for permission to teach through Proverbs. And we taught it, we charted it, we memorized it. And I thought, oh, good, I'm done. And God said, write it down. It took me nine years um, I had lessons I had to learn that anger management forgiveness thing and <laughs> those darn emotions. Um, so we came out in 2010 with our first book, Practical Proverbs, and high school students could get high school credit studying 80 lessons through Proverbs with discussion questions with mom and dad on finances, relationships, all those good Proverbs topics. Mm -hmm. The next year, so many people asked us, we had done it originally in the New American Standard Bible and asked us for a King James Version and a younger student book. So that 2011, we came out with those and I've written four or five other books since then, including a woman's Bible study through Proverbs and a 30 day devotional for people who live with chronic pain called Dancing in the Pain. Yes. So, and so, we, um, and I also do mentoring. Are, yes. And those of you who are watching her Proverbs resources are excellent. So make, make sure Thank that you. you check those out. Um, and you'll have an expo booth and everything. We'll have that all at the, at the conference. So if you don't go to our website now. You can check it out later. But um, so what are you going to be? So obviously, since you've got these great uh, curriculum books and everything for your for your boys, what is it that you're going to kind of focus on in your session for this conference? Uh, you know, as our culture is changing, as um, the Christian faith in the church is changing, our youth and how they process and how they um, learn is changing. Mm. And so we're going to talk about how to approach teenagers in a way that will open them up to learn what you have to teach them. And also, you know, I, I thought I, I was a very naive um, homeschooler when my kids were really little. And I thought if I just feed them all this knowledge, 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 they'll be wise and wonderful. And then as I began to study and learn, I realized that there's a long period of instruction between knowledge and wisdom. Mm. And our teenagers think, I've got the knowledge, I'm wise. Right. And so we're going to really focus on that instruction piece and how to go about it in different learning styles and different um, ways of connecting. How to, I think, overarching is respecting Mm. and listening to our teenagers and helping them, asking them questions to help them draw conclusions rather mm. than telling them what you think you ought, they ought to know. Right. Um, and mm. I'm a big fan of biblical worldview in every area of life. And a lot of our teens are, yeah, I know the Bible and I know the Christian life and then I'm going to go live my life. And so helping mm. them to relate application, application, application from God's word. Oh, I love that. About doing that. And so we're going to walk you through a, a possible lesson um, oh, cool. during the, the session of some different ideas, what you might do to help draw out some of the discussion and some of those things from the teenagers. I love as a mom of a 16 year old boy and a 15 year old <laughs> daughter and as soon to be 13 year old daughter. Uh, all of this is very I'm like, oh, this sounds great. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking forward to doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So 
that's going to be your session. So we've been doing little nuggets of Bible teaching tips. So what would be your tip that those watching could go away with today? I would say that one way, but the best way to get kids to open up to you is to, they're trying to figure life out. Teenagers, mm -hmm. that's a time of, of, you know, what what is this about? Who am I? Where am I going? All these things. And to let them know, I'm still trying to figure it out too. The world is changing. I haven't got all the answers. So to be vulnerable, to be honest, to be real, um, to to let them know that it's okay that they don't have the answers. Yeah. To help them on that process of okay, we're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna figure these answers out. Let's walk along. And so I guess bottom line would be that relationship. Mm -hmm. Hoping them they come in and you just pour information to them, give them a lecture, and then they leave and hope they got something just is not going to work in these this day and time. Yeah. And I've, I've found creating an environment that's the, where they feel safe, safe mm -hmm. to question, safe to even just wrestle with some biblical truth in just a raw way is, um, it's important for our teens because they've got to figure they're figuring stuff out. Like what you said, it's like, and that safety comes from a spirit of respect, right? I'm not looking down on them, trying to teach them things because they don't know it. I'm not looking down on them because they're teenagers and not don't have the life experience. I'm respecting who they are, where they're at. I want to understand so that I can help them figure out and help them move forward in their walk with Christ, with Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know I, for one, will be listening to your session. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so I'm excited. So for those of you who are watching, make sure you get your free ticket for Bible Creative Online Conference, February 21st through the 23rd. There is one of our speakers. If you've got teenagers or you are teaching teenagers, you want to make sure that you go to her session. So Dara, thank you again for joining us. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. And do you mind if I just my email my website real quick? Oh, absolutely. Go ahead. Yes, we are at abidingtruthministry.com. Yes. Okay. Right. Go check out her resources. Her Proverbs resources are really, really good. So <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Dara, so much. I appreciate it. Bye, everybody. Thank you. God bless.